Hi, I'm Mo Rocca, correspondent for CBS Sunday Morning and host of the Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. And I'm here at the newly expanded National Inventors Hall of Fame Museum in Alexandria, Virginia. Let's take a look around. This is the Gallery of Icons, added to the Hall of Fame in 2014. Each of these hexagons represents an inductee into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. But don't look for Thomas Edison in the E's. It's not in alphabetical order. It's ordered by patent number. So Thomas Edison, right here, for the invention of the electric lamp, right between the invention of the mechanical cash register and the invention of photography, without which you wouldn't be able to watch this video. The design of this monument to innovation is inspired by the world's most prolific inventor, Mother Nature. A honeycomb, a wasp nest, the crystals of a diamond, all are formed with connecting hexagons. Together, hexagons form a very efficient structure and are stronger together than alone. That's the idea behind the patent system, that inventions and ideas work better when they're shared, though still protecting the rights of the inventor. It's what's helped make the United States a leader in innovation for over 200 years. With the 2016 class, there are now 532 inductees in the Hall of Fame. In this section, we explore their stories and inventions. The inventors honored here all have two things in common. One, they hold a US patent for an invention or an improvement to one. Two, that invention has contributed to science and the useful arts and the well-being of our nation. Here's what we mean. This new exhibit space, Intellectual Property Power, explores in depth the evolution of useful things that we can't live without and the role that our patent and trademark system has had in powering that evolution. More than 50 National Inventors Hall of Fame inductees and their patents are part of this exhibit, as well as over 200 trademarks. This close-up on cameras takes you through 130 years of improvements in photography, from George Eastman's original Kodak camera with flexible roll film and Edwin Land's Polaroid, to the first digital camera by Steve Sasson. And as crazy as it might sound to Mr. Eastman were he still here, it ends with a phone. The teeny tiny camera that you all have in your phones was invented by Eric Fossum, a founding father of the selfie. You don't see this every day. It's what a collision on the time travel highway might look like. Created especially for this exhibit by the Ford Motor Company, it merges a 1965 Mustang with a 2015 Mustang. You're encouraged to hop in and experience the progress of this iconic car's cockpit over the last 50 years. Surrounding the car are more than 40 inventors and their patents that are now part of everyday life. Challenge your friends to the guest patent trivia on these hexagonal panels. Then open the door to reveal the answer. This room takes you even farther back in time than the Ford exhibit. Back to the beginning of the patent system established in the Constitution. Article 1, Section 8 reads, Congress shall have power to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries. Learn more about the two inventors that appear on the National Inventors Hall of Fame inductee medal, Thomas Edison and Abraham Lincoln. Yes, Abraham Lincoln has a patent and is the only U.S. president to have one. Clara Barton was an employee of the patent office and was the first woman in a government job to earn wages equal to her male colleagues. And then, of course, she went on to form the Red Cross, perhaps inspired by her time tending to injured Civil War soldiers that were housed in the old patent office building, which is now the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery and American Art Museum. You can also hear directly from the people who work every day to keep the patent system humming, the patent examiners, the only people in the world who cannot be awarded a U.S. patent. Patents and trademarks work together to keep American innovation moving forward. The use and rise of trademarks exploded exponentially, as did the number of patents during the industrial and digital revolutions. Unlike patents, trademarks can be renewed every 10 years for as long as they are used in commerce. 
learn some interesting history of trademarks here, including a story about some dueling pink battery bunnies with drums. True pioneers of mobile communication, Qualcomm is proud to present this exhibit about the development of the one thing that we could truly not live without. Oh my God, where's my phone? What? Uh, uh, no. The National Inventors Hall of Fame is redefining the purpose of a Hall of Fame. They not only celebrate the inventors that have shaped our world, they're actively working to shape the next generation of inventors. Their award-winning Camp Invention Summer Program, Invention Project for Middle Schoolers, and the Collegiate Inventors Competition are inspiring and rewarding thousands each year. We're certain that some of the young inventors featured here will one day earn spots in the National Inventors Hall of Fame.